So, El Matador, Ilya Tapuria, featherweight champion, is playing the I'm not impressed game. Because, of course, you know, he doesn't want to give Max his flowers. He doesn't want to give him too much credit because they're, like, future opponents. You know, and he feels like that might be showing weakness, I guess. But he's saying that he didn't see any technique in that fight. That he didn't, like, see any strategy. He didn't see any power. He said he didn't see anything. He said he didn't see any head movement, which is such cap. Um, he said all he saw was a bar fight. Hmm. So nothing about that performance, Ilya, was technical at all. Like, Ilya, you know that straight up cap, bro. You know that's cap. Like, nothing about that fight was a bar fight until the end. Like, the last 10 seconds, when Max pointed down to the center and said, let's go, like what he did to Ricardo Lamas, that was the bar fight at the end. But everything Max Holloway did throughout the entire fight was technical. He beat Justin Gaethje by being more technical. And I underestimated Max's ability to beat Gaethje by being technical. I didn't think that would work because I saw the fight with Arnold Allen, how that went and how Allen was able to make it kind of close and tag him. And Max didn't overly look impressive against Arnold Allen. But little did I know, not every fight's the same and in MMA logic don't work like that. And maybe the reason Max didn't look that great against Arnold is because Partially could have been the weight cut at 45. I also believe a big reason as to why he didn't look that good maybe is because he was also fresh off that ass beating by Alexander Volkanovsky in the trilogy, which that I'm sure took a hit on Max's confidence a little bit. You know, when you're fresh off a bad beatdown like that, you're not going to look that good. But then he came back again, knocked out Zombie. So his confidence is back. His aura is kind of back. And also, it's a new weight class, fresh start. And this is Justin Gaethje. He had nothing to lose here, but he had a lot to prove. He did not want to go 0-2 to, at lightweight. So he wanted to make sure he did the right things this time. So he looked great. But again, what Max did in that fight was technique from bell to bell. From the first round all the way to the fifth round to the last 10 seconds. Sticking and moving out jabbing Justin Gaethje, darting in, ducking his head, and then getting out of the way, pivoting out of the way every single time. Like, bro, I was impressed by Max Holloway. His combos, his accuracy, the kicks this guy would throw. Like, come on, how are you going to say you didn't see any technique from Max Holloway? There was no technique on the side of Justin Gaethje. Like, after Gaethje got, you know, spinning back kicked in the nose and got his nose shattered, all technique went out the window for Justin Gaethje. Gaethje was the brawler in that fight. Gaethje was 27 Ga Gaethje was 2017 Gaethje in there with Max Holloway. But Max Holloway was he was the matador in there and he was disciplined. Gaethje was the bull, Max was the matador and Max just picked him the hell apart in Max Holloway fashion and looked better than he's ever looked. So I don't know what he's talking about I'm saying he saw no power Come on, bro. He just face-planted Justin Gaethje. When Eddie Alvarez knocked out Gaethje, Gaethje wasn't even out cold. He just fell. He was out of it, but he got up really quickly. I mean, it was a clean, clear finish. He wasn't out cold. He wasn't out cold against Dustin either when Dustin finished him. Max is the first guy to put Gaethje to sleep. So we need to stop this whole Max Holloway has no power talk. But Ilya's just doing his thing. I mean, he was talking a lot of crap against Volkanovsky too. Ilya does reach with a lot of the things he says, a lot of the statements that he makes. Um, but he knows what he's saying is cap. He knows Max Holloway is extremely technical. And I mean, we saw him. We saw his face when the crowd cam pointed at his face. When Max called him out, we saw he was shitting his pants. We saw how nervous Ilya Taporia was and he should be scared I mean I'm not trying to say he's scared he's not scared of Max but I know he knows he's in for a tough fight he knows he's in for a tough fight and Styles make fights yes he beat Volk three times who beat or sorry he beat Volk once who beat Max three times I get it but Styles make matchups I do think that Max he beats Volk in a fourth fight 
because Volkanovski won't be the same after the two straight KO losses, and he's 35, he's older, so Max would win. But just because, just because, um, you know, Tapuria beat Volk, who Max couldn't beat those three times, does not mean that Max cannot beat Ilya Tapuria. There's openings, there's opportunities there for him to capitalize on against Tapuria that may have not been there for a guy like Volkanovski. Um, now, who will win the fight between Ilya Tapuria and Max Holloway? I do think it's like an extremely close fight. It's like not one-way traffic. And I mean, Max does struggle against shorter opponents. I do think Tapuria being short, stocky like Volk, and also being fast and technical like Volk, more technical than Justin Gaethje. I think he'll definitely do way better than Gaethje did, for sure. Um, and I think Ilya would beat Gaethje at 155, by the way. So it'll be a harder fight than Justin Gaethje. And I do think Max cutting back to 145, it could kind of affect his performance. However, it is going to be a hard fight for, um, it's going to be a hard fight for Ilya. I'm going to go with Max to win. I'm going to take Max Holloway to win this fight by decision. Uh, I think he will do similar things that he did against Gaethje. Not as easy, but I think he'll jab, stick and move. Land a lot of spinning back kicks. Um, Ilya won't be able to trap Holloway against the cage and land that body hook, um, right hook combo that he knocked out Volk with, that he knocks out everyone with. I don't see him catching Max Holloway with that, but it should be interesting. I think Max will hurt him in moments, and he'll be able to hit, not get hit too cleanly too often, and win 48-47 very clearly. Would I be surprised if Ilya won? No, I wouldn't be surprised. But um, should be interesting. I think that's the fight that needs to be booked next, like straight away. Because uh, the matchup is fresh. Ilya went there, watched him fight live. Max called him out. I said if Max Holloway can go out there and can beat Justin Gaethje, he needs to jump on that fight with Ilya Taporia. He needs to fight him UFC 306 in the sphere. I'm sorry, Volkanovski, but maybe you can maybe you can fight the winner early next year. You know, fight the winner early next year. But Volk needs the extra time off. But uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And who do you guys think will win, Ilya Taporia or Max Holloway? Uh, like and subscribe. And peace out.